Hello everybody, this is the Beanie FTV channel, and this is my first video where we're going to be discussing about how to bind to the Cetus FV drone. Hello everybody and welcome to the Beanie FPV channel. So today what we're going to do is we're going to bind the Radio Monster TX-8 to our Cetus FPV drone. So what we'll need for this is our Radio Monster TX-8, our little pliers or whatever you want to call these, um, our Cetus drone and some batteries to power the Cetus drone. So what you're going to want to do first is you want to, first of all you want to switch on your Radio Monster TX-8, okay? And this will work for any deviation controller as well. So right now I have a random model set up here. I'm just gonna go to model menu, model setup. I haven't set anything up on this model already before. So what we're gonna wanna do now is just go straight to FR Sky. Uh, click, uh, select the FR Sky in your receiver options. <clears throat> click FR Sky and then you'll see <clears throat> that it will be, uh, you don't need to mess with any of this stuff except for the frequency fine, frequency fine. That will be set to negative 50. That will put it in DA mode because this is not a open TX control, controller. This is a deviation controller. It's not fancy or anything. So to put it in D8 mode because the CTS FPV drone has a D8 uh, receiver in it, you're gonna wanna put this in D8 mode, which is negative 50. I don't know why. Once you have that set up, you're gonna just put your controller to the side just for a little bit. Then you're gonna wanna get your drone and some batteries. And if you don't know already, your bind button on your drone is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's this little golden button. Should be, I don't know if you can see that with the light, but it's right there. You can't miss it, it's like a golden button and it's really easy to see so what you're going to do now is you just want to plug your battery in plug that in like that and now you have these blue flashing lights and then you're just going to want to click that bind button and then once they're uh green flashing lights just go to your controller and all you want to do is just click the bind button let it do its thing And it should turn blue when it's successfully bound. And we have successful, success, successful bind because, as you can see, there's these blue lights. So, but right now, uh, so to set up the switches now, we don't need to use this anymore. We can put this away. And we go here to our mixer tab. We go to your mixer tab to set up your switches for the to arm the drone and to put it in different modes. Now, the Cetus FPV drone does not run Betaflight, so it runs its own software called Beta FPV, and I did a little bit of digging there, and I found out that AUX1, which is this switch on, my, on the Radio Master TX8, will always be your arm switch. AUX1 is your arm switch, AUX2 is your mode switch, okay? So just keep that in mind. So now we want to go to our mixer tab, click mixer, uh, we don't need to do all that stuff. I've already set this up, but I'll just set it up before the video. So you just want to go to the simple, like channel 5, normally there's nothing, then you go to simple, click simple, go down two times, when it's like here, flick AUX, uh, you want to click AUX1, there you go, like if you flick it back, like if I would put it in this position, that would be my arm switch, and I will flick that. And SWG1 will, is my AUX1 switch. So we're just gonna click save, and then we want to go here where there's nothing right now. Click simple, and we just this is a this would be our mode switch. So we're gonna click that as our mode switch. SWD1 will be our mode switch. Okay, so we're gonna save that. We're gonna go exit, and we're gonna reset these switches, of course. And now, if we plug, we have 
our CTIS batteries in. You should now be bound. Flicking your arm switch will maybe speed up the binding process when you uh, plug your battery in originally. And now we just click arm. One of my motors is hitting the frame and it does it a lot. This motor does this a lot. If, this is also a little tutorial. If one of your motors is not spinning, you just want to lift it up off the frame because sometimes it's hitting the, the frame a little bit. And that might stop it from rotating. Now, now all our motors are spinning, and we can flick it into this mode. And this battery is really uh, low on voltage, so that's why it's not flying right now. But trust me, it does fly. And I hope you have a good time flying. And see you in the next video. Yeah.